Hey everyone, this is Mark and I am here inside the Action Figuratorium and today I'm going to be doing a bit of an unboxing for you. Recently I have acquired some Vitruvian Hacks blanks and I've been making a bunch of different characters. One of the characters that I really need to make is the Anubis figure so I went and I ordered a kit and now I thought I would show it off so that those of you who are new to the Vitruvian Hacks can see uh, kind of what it's all about so stick around. <laughs> All right, so I had made a previous video in which I talked about missed marketing opportunities of fulfillment, meaning when the toy company that you buy from uh, ships your package, what can they do to help their marketing along? Well, three things. One is um, branding on the outside of the package. Two, sales collateral. Put like something uh, inside that's shiny that uh, says you got stuff for sale. And three is uh, brand loyalty, saying thank you somewhere. So we're gonna go over to the bench and we're gonna open this package, which is a Vitruvian Hacks mini kit of the Anubis figure. However, this did not come from uh, Boss Fight Studio directly, the people who make it. This is from a third party called Vitruvian Armory, which is one of the last places you can find specific kits. So uh, let's head over there right now. All right, so first on the list, we can see that Vitruvian Armory has a stamp on the back of their package. So check the box on branding your box. Next, we open it up, There's some brown paper, which is nice, not technically necessary, but I appreciate it. And um, there's a package full of goods there. And look what we have here. We have shipping list, and right there is a handwritten thank you, as well as a separate piece of paper that just says thank you for your order. But we're not done there either. Let's keep going a little bit inside the little bag itself. There's a couple items here. There, of course, is the kit that I paid for. So there is uh, the kit itself, and um, we have also included is a cool Vitruvian Armory sticker and then there is this which is a little Vitruvian man uh, necklace could actually be sort of an amulet for a 12 inch figure and this is not plastic it is metal it is a very soft metal but it's still metal and then there is a card with contact info and picture of things that are presumably for sale. So I'm going to take this all as thank you and this as sales collateral and say that the Vitruvian Armory takes full advantage of these marketing opportunities through fulfillment. And uh, a thumbs up to you guys. Way to go. Thanks for the... Uh, the cool tchotchkes, I appreciate it. So the package here has our, uh, our guy and um, some of you wondering what exactly I've gotten myself into. This is a kit that goes on a blank. And for those of you who want to know, here's a blank right here. Here is the blank's head. Here are feet and I have a hand loose somewhere as well to slap on this guy there we go. so what it is is you um, you get these extra pieces and you can just sort of build your own your own figurouski see so we get the head with this guy and looks like he's got a cool headdress. Looks like the headdress goes on first. And the head, I think I'm doing this right. It's all very kind of soft plastic, which I intend to paint. Anyways, the two pieces go together, but because they're two separate pieces, it allows you to uh, still turn the head. Uh, this piece has to go on first. All right, and then there's a skeleton, and uh, as you guys know, the best way to do this is to, uh, to 
rock them back and forth after you heat it up with the blow dryer. Of course, uh, nothing better than uh, giving him his own Egyptian tchotchkes to hang on to. There you have it. So this is a uh, a hacks blank with the Anubis kit on it. This is just a white blank with red vinyl. Of course, both the figure and the uh, kit itself is going to get painted. However, I want to point out that in some ways you could just kind of leave the sort of figure as is. And, uh, and it has a kind of coolness to it. It's like he's a sort of a red, white, candy stripey guy. So um, there's also a few other tchotchkes that come with. There's an onk. Looks like there's some sort of ceremonial axe. Uh, these are, are a, uh, feel like a harder plastic than the sort of soft vinyl that most of the clothes are. Most of the armor kits for these guys, like this, um, this is a, uh, kind of like a Roman soldier one uh, in here. They're all sort of this kind of soft, uh, bendy plastic versus the uh, the harder plastic. And sometimes that stuff is harder to paint. It doesn't take paint as well. Sometimes you have to sand it first. Sometimes you have to sand it and then spray it with a coat of acrylic before you can paint on top of it, before you can even primer it. Um, sometimes you may have to just find a special primer that sticks to certain types of plastics. I've had both good luck and a bad luck with uh, finding primers to paint these guys and definitely if you're into these characters you're definitely going to want to paint them. Um, this guy came from Vitruvian Armory. There are a way to get these though um, through buying blind bag kits and hope that you get an Anubis but there's so much risk and for like about four bucks more you could just probably go buy the complete kit from the third party. Um, they're getting harder and harder to find, so I figured uh, why wait, why get one, because I have kind of a cool Egyptian thing coming up, and, uh, and I hope that this uh, uh, really scratches that itch. So this has been a, uh, another fantastic uh, delivery into the action figuratorium of uh, cool toys that are going to show up in future future photo shoots. Thanks everybody who uh, stuck it out this long and if you can check out Vitruvian Hacks from Boss Fight Studio and also if you can't find any of the cool aftermarket gizmos, 3D printed stuff in addition to some of the original kits, um, look at VitruvianArmory.com. Those guys are pretty cool. They seem pretty laid back and they throw in a bunch of cool stuff with it. So with that I'll catch you guys on day one.